Hey folks, welcome back. In this video, we're going to look at combination circuits, otherwise known as resistors and mixed circuits. So let's get started. So first of all, what is a combination circuit? Well, combination circuits are circuits which have a combination of series and parallel resistors. So to find the total resistance, some situations will require you to find a parallel combination first and then a series one, whilst other situations will require the opposite. And here's a couple of examples just to give you an idea. So the first example here shows a 50 ohm resistor in series with a parallel combination of two 50 ohm resistors. And it says to find the total resistance of this combination, the total resistance of the parallel resistor should be found first, i.e. this one, and the result used to find the total resistance of the resistors in series. So in order to find the total resistance here, we can't find the total series resistance until we know what this combination is. So that's why we would do this one first. So we would find the total resistance of this combination in parallel and add it on to the 50 ohms afterwards. In this second example, however, let's say we have two resistors in series here on this branch, so a 2000 ohm and a 4000 ohm resistor, and then a 2000 ohm in parallel with that series combination. Then what we would have to do now is to find the total resistance between points X and Y. The total resistance of the resistors in series should be found first, i.e. this one, and then the result used to find the total resistance of the resistors in parallel. So we would add these two together in series using our relationship for resistors in series, and then we would use the answer to that in parallel with this 2000 ohm resistor to find the total resistance between X and Y. Now, if we go back to this first example, I just want to give you a top tip which might speed things up for you when you're doing questions like this in a test or an exam. And the top tip is that when you have two or more resistors in parallel which have the exact same value, then what you can do is you can actually take the value of one of the resistors and divide it by how many resistors there are. So in this case, because I've got identical resistors and there's only two of them, if I take the value of one of them and divide it by two because there's two resistors, then that gives me the total resistance of this to be 25 ohms. Now, let's say I had a third resistor in parallel there, which was also 50 ohms, then that means I could use that top tip and take the value of one of my resistors, 50, and divide it by three in that case. But beware that this shortcut only works if the resistance values are identical. That's all for this video, folks. I hope you found it useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.